Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So in my Walking Dead episode 11 review, I asked you guys to all submit your questions. I picked 10 of them with one fun bonus question. I've also got a new winner to announce in my weekly giveaway. If you are finding me for the first time, each week I pick a random subscriber from the comments to give an Amazon gift card to, just as a way to say thank you for being so awesome. Round four will begin whenever I post my episode 12 review next Sunday. Until then, everyone be sure to give Lorita Mercury a high five because she is this week's winner. I'll be reaching out to you on your channel for details. So now let's answer some mullets. I mean questions, let's answer questions. Number one, Cameron Peter asks, do you think that Rick and Carl will find out that Judith is alive soon? I think they'll run into Carol and Tyrese's group soon. They'll probably meet up before the season finale. They're both headed towards Sanctuary. I think it will take a few more episodes at least. The show is playing this weird trick where in the comics, Sanctuary comes after Alexandria, so they might be combining those two places or they might all get to Sanctuary and leave early. I don't think they would actually combine those two places on the show just because they're so big in the comic books, but it'll probably be another week or two before we find out what the show is going to do. Question number two, Melina Torres asks, do you think the next episode will focus on Daryl, like this episode focused on Michonne? Uh, yeah, based on the teaser, I think that Daryl and Beth's group is going to be featured really heavily. They're just going to cover all the people that they skipped this week, so we'll probably also see Tyrese's group and possibly Maggie's group. We didn't get a super deep look into any of those characters during episode 10 though, but the mere fact that Daryl and Beth took up the whole teaser implies that they'll have the biggest WTF moment of the episode. So we should all definitely say some prayers for Beth, and maybe for Daryl too. Question number three, Lee Chang asks, do you think that they'll ever make a prequel movie about Walking Dead? So there are a lot of rumors that the spin-off TV show is going to be a prequel, but I don't think that's the case. It's more likely that they tell prequel bits in comic book flashbacks. I don't really consider the flashbacks that people on the show like Michonne have to be prequel storylines, at least in the way I think you're implying. They're not really going to tell the story of how the outbreak started. We'll definitely see more people on the show have flashbacks to before the outbreak though, if you consider that a prequel. Question number four, George Barrett asks, do you really think they'd reveal a cure? No, I don't think that Robert Kirkman would do that in the comic books, and I don't think that Scott Gimple is going to do that on the show. If they did that, it would automatically create this endpoint for the series. Logically, curing the outbreak would force them to end the show at a certain point. They will end the main show eventually, just because everyone will get burned out and people's salaries will get too expensive, but Robert Kirkman said that he'll continue to make the comic as long as people keep buying it, which is basically forever. So as long as he keeps writing new stories, the show will have new material to draw from. The spin-off is the big test though. It's going to be completely new characters that weren't in the comics. If that does well, then you can bet on us seeing Walking Dead on TV, at least in some form, for the next five years, meaning they'd do everything they could to stop it from having a you know set endpoint like a cure. Question number five, Trox09 asks, do you think that Negan will be introduced this season? No, or at least if he is, I don't think it'll be till the very, very end. In the comics, he doesn't debut till way, way later than where they are right now in the show, so they'd have to skip a lot of stuff to bring him out. The Hunters, on the other hand, are much closer. Nobody on the show has confirmed anything, but I did include a couple more Hunters questions on my Q&A. Question number six, Asan121 asks, will the whole group meet up at the end of the season? Well, the whole group, no, but I'm considering there to be several different groups. Daryl and Beth are one, Tyrese and Carol are another, Rick and Michonne are one, Maggie, Sasha, and Bob are another, and Abraham and Glenn's make five separate groups right now. By the end of the season, I think that at least two of those groups will merge with the others. I think that everyone headed towards Sanctuary will meet up, meaning Rick and Carl will be reunited with baby Judith, and I think that Glenn will find Maggie, meaning Abraham's group will merge with hers. That kind of leaves Daryl and Beth on their own. I think it will be a couple more episodes before we see groups starting to get closer to each other, so it'll probably be a little while before we actually know who will end up meeting up. Question number seven, Lalav1 asks, do you think the show will make Abraham seem good to only turn out to be bad later? I think Abraham's trying to do good. I don't think he's like the governor. He does give off a really aggro vibe, but it's really Dr. Mullet we should be worried about. He seems way too stupid to know anything about a cure. So keep your eyes on him for any more creepy episode ending smiles. Question number eight, Jane S asks, I noticed that the bad guy on the porch was Jeff Kober, who always plays the bad guy. Do you think that he and any of the other survivors of the house will show up later? Yes, uh, Negan's group and the Saviors had a kind of a biker look to him, and that person you were talking about kind of had a biker look to him, so that certainly does imply some things. My first thought was the Hunters, but the show hasn't confirmed that group will make an appearance. So for now, I'll just say yes, I just can't confirm on which group they are, you know, Hunters or Saviors. Question number nine, the Turtle Gamer asks, do you think that Rick or Carl could die this season? 
No, but someone from the prison is supposed to die. At least that's the rumor. The big rumor is that the person who's supposed to die is someone who's still alive in the comic books. I know that sounds weird, but that's just what the rumor said, which really does narrow it down, meaning Beth and Daryl would be safe and Glenn too. But it does put Maggie on the chopping block. So cross your fingers and be prepared for a giant WTF. I think whoever it ends up being will be surprised. I was really surprised about what happened to Herschel. I didn't know what was going to happen to him before episode 8. Question number 10, Christian Hernandez asks, Would you go find Maggie or save the world? Ah uh, yes, this is the classic Star Trek conundrum. The needs of the one versus the needs of the many. Of course I would go save Maggie. I'm a human being, I'm deeply flawed. Glenn kind of represents the everyman, like the totally normal person, and he's not going to care about anything but Maggie. For him, it's not a choice at all. He was going to smash the shit out of that window to get them to stop. It only seems like he was making a poor choice, but I actually thought that he was the only one that was really using his brain, even though it only seemed like he was using his heart. And one last bonus question, tbaby486 asks, The people in Rick's house, I got a hunter vibe from them, but if they're not hunters, then who are they? So the other major group they could be is the Saviors. If you want to learn more about them, then you can check out the comic books, but the Saviors are associated with Sanctuary and Negan, which is like this big looming threat in the distance. I really hope the show doesn't go there this fast. It will probably be a couple weeks before we get a better picture of how that's all going to go down though. There's at least one more major new character named Gareth that hasn't appeared yet. I'm expecting to see him either next week or the week after that in episode 13. Supposedly he's going to be a new antagonist that's an amalgam of a couple of different characters in the comic books. So thank you so much for submitting your questions. This was a lot of fun as always. I tried to combine as many answers as possible since a lot of the questions were very similar. My episode 12 review and the next round of the giveaway will post on Sunday after the episode airs. Be sure to subscribe to get it if you haven't already. The Olympics are starting to wind down so my TV schedule is getting back to normal. I'm also starting to do weekly Hannibal videos starting this Friday. So get excited about that. It's going to be Mads Mikkelsen versus Hugh Dancy this season. It'll be a lot of fun. Right now click here for this week's episode review and click here to learn all about the new companion on Doctor Who. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. High fives.